not just in the fracking industry, like all other chemical dosing applications, it's important to get the information up front um, with regards to the required flow rates, the chemical attributes, which would include temperature, viscosity, density of, of the liquids. Um, from, from then, we speak to the engineers and we decide how optimum they want the chemical to be dosed. For example, for anti scalance in a gas line, it's critical that we maintain the correct PPM in the line. Otherwise, we could have detrimental scale buildup. Um, this could increase the energy costs required to get the gas into the storage area or decrease the flow rates, which could have production implications to them. If we overdose a chemical, for example, then we are um, breaking the bottom line of the, the chemical required. Um, and the cost thereof. I would say the petrochemical industry has the most challenges, um, especially with regards to documentation. The design of the dosing installation may be easy um, and the supply of the equipment to, to meet the requirements of the installation, but the documentational requirements um, make the pump seem a cheap portion of the whole project. Um, in, in some cases it can take up to six months to formalize the documentation for, for, for a project. It will regard material certificates, um, pressure test requirements, witness testing, sometimes even at factories in Europe, at your manufacturing factory in Europe or Australia, for example. Well, we are a company of 13 people. Six of our staff are employed directly um, to deal with um, this, uh, manufacture of our systems, installation, uh, and, and service of, of, of our equipment. We have two teams in the field continuously that um, go around nationally and service um, and maintain equipment.